All right, welcome to my April 3rd live item shop review video. So before we get to the video, let's talk about this screen real quick because it says April 12th, 100 years is almost up. So what does this mean? Well, on April 12th, which is not this Friday, but next Friday, we're gonna have a mid-season event. So very similar to what we just had with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but this time, Avatar, The Last Airbender. So I'll do another video covering that because what you see in this picture, the iceberg is actually in the game right now. I'm sure most of you have seen it, but if not, like I said, I'll do a video tomorrow. But we got confirmation April 12th. Again, not this Friday, but next Friday, that's when it's gonna start. So we didn't know that. And there's tons more coming to the game, not just the mini battle pass, but skins, possibly new items in the game, we're gonna see. But like I said, I'll cover all that later i just wanted to let you know what this date was because it doesn't really say it just says 100 years is almost up what does that mean especially if you don't know anything about avatar you would not know anything about this so that's what it means the big mid-season event with the mini battle pass it's all coming april 12th so what's in the shop tonight i heard it's not very good once again special offers start your engine stuff this is all the same nothing new here lewis hamilton is still here get him before he rotates out but invincible is back so I did hear maybe that the season finale was tonight, so I think that's why this returned. The Guardians of the Globe bundle. That's Omni-Man, Adam Eve, and Invincible himself, plus the accessories, including the fastest fastball emote, which is pretty cool. So, oh man, it kicked me out and redid the shop for me. That's kind of weird. So overall, it's a pretty solid bundle. Of course, all of these are cell shaded though. So if you're not a fan of those, then you probably aren't gonna like this bundle at all. The Lantern Fest locker bundle is still here. Plus this entire tab, this was exactly as you see it yesterday. Siren, Exo Axes, Bullseye, Smooth Move, Shanty for a Squad, nothing new here. Same things we see over and over. Limelight, she's back once in a while, but she has two pretty cool styles. Juice and the default. Looks like Sig makes a return as well as his pickaxes. Then we got Sure Shot and the Targeted Glider. Slingshot. So we got Sure Shot and Slingshot. Swamp Stalker, Rex, Amazing Cube, Backstroke, Ground Pound. Again, nothing new or exciting here. Flytrap, though. He was once one of the rarest skins in the game. Got a pretty sweet Lego skin. Look at that Mohawk. Holy smokes. That's insane. This Tendril Pickaxe is just okay, but I really like the Venus Flyer. I had a Venus Flytrap once. They're super, super cool. Hush is back. This is the original Hush, but she's got that second Corilla Deville style. Silent Strike and Weathered Black. We got Lady Gaga, Gear for Festival. We're getting new jam tracks tomorrow. Can't wait to see what those are. I'm sure they've already been released, but I didn't look. I like to be surprised. We got the Beachside Boulevard and the Durberger Lego kit. So there you go. Like I said, not the best shop. Invincible is back, and that's about it. Maybe Flytrap. There's not really a highlight to the shop, but remember, April 12th is when the mid-season event will start. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaberTime.